pros and hoes, whatever floats your go. It's Relentless here, bringing you yet another division build video. I haven't really messed around with this build too much uh, until recently, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's something different, um, but I choose not to run it in the six-piece variety because I mainly PvP with it, and you'll see that in some gameplay uh, footage at the end of this build video. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've just been tearing it up uh, in this global event. Hope you are too. Getting all them caches, but more or less, I've been gaining a lot of uh, manhunt caches. And let's just say uh, people aren't been too kind these days to me in the DZ as far as all the hate mail I get. But, anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. As you can see, it is five piece Apple Bridge with the Barrett's chest piece. We'll go over the five piece talents of alpha bridge first the two piece gives you 100% health regen five piece weapon damage a bon well three piece we five percent weapon damage bonus about tripped over my words there sorry about that uh, four piece if your primary and secondary weapon is of the same category they share the free talent the fifth piece 25% more health regen and 10% weapon damage all right let's go over the barrett's Barrett's no skills on cooldown increases skill power by 10%. One skill on cooldown increases damage by 5%. Two skills on cooldown increase armor by 10%. And on the major attributes, I have health on a kill and health. If you uh, so choose and you already have ammo capacity in your miners, and this one uh, apparently didn't, so I had to reroll and roll ammo capacity on it, then instead of health on a kill, uh, you would probably prefer some EDR because now that you know this global event is taken off, I see a lot more tacticians in the DZ, so uh, it'd probably be more applicable uh, to roll uh, some EDR on this chest piece and the major attributes if you are planning on PVPing in the dark zone. In the mod slots, I have 264 firearms, 31 health, and both. Moving on to the mask, we have. 1665 total that's including the mod in the mod slot and as you can see that's another 264 and 3100 in health but in the majors i have a four percent crit chance and the minors i have a little bit additional 17 percent burn resistance that helps kind of a little bit with those little flame turrets uh 9883 in armor so overall in all a, a decent mask moving on to the knee pads 1517 in armor, a little low on the armor side, but as you can see, maxed out on the stamina, 1401. In the major attributes, we have 8% crit damage. In the minors, some more burn resistance, some disorder resistance, and some increased kill XP. Also, in its mod slot, we have 264 firearms, 31 health, and a 5.5% first aid self heal. In the backpack, 1205 in armor. I still have a ways to go in optimizing uh, a lot of these pieces. But as for the most part, it's doing quite well. Uh, 12.05 in the armor can go uh, considerably a lot higher, so maybe you'll have better armor rolls on the Apple Bridge pieces that you acquire. But in the major attributes, 9% uh, crit hit damage, and the miners also ammo capacity. I almost forgot. Sorry about that. In the mod slots, you can see firearms and health with two 6% first aid self fields. Moving on to the gloves, 13.97 in health. Good roll on it, decent armor. Uh, I can still optimize it uh, once or twice more. I think only once more. Uh, but it has 6% crit chance, crit damage, and SMG damage. And if you are choosing to run ARs, then you want AR damage instead of the SMG damage and the major attributes. I prefer SMGs. Uh, I don't really sit back too much in, in a battle, especially PVP. I know you have to more or less sometimes on PVE scenarios, but uh, in my instance, in my play style, I'm usually all up in your face or uh, running around you and blasting you. You know, you've seen the PvP videos and you'll see in the video uh, at the end of this one. Moving on to the holster. Decent holster. Uh, I wish it had a little better stats in the electronics uh, area. But all in all, quite well. 1401, 1382, and then the low 1349. And also in the majors, you'll see 4% crit chance. And then mod slot, it's a first aid self heal. So basically, as you can see, instead of opting in for the health on knee pads and backpack, I chose with the crit damage, with the crit chance on the mask, and also on the holster. Moving on to weapon type of choice, I am using the house 
23.6k base, 23% crit chance baked in, uh, with Vicious, Deadly, and of course the card counter. One half of the magazine does 20% increased damage, the half which deals increased damage flips after 15 seconds, or when the magazine is empty. Uh, and the free talent that I'm using is Unforgiving, Missing Health Segments increase your damage, one Missing Health Segment plus 10%, two Missing Health Segments plus 25%. I wish I had a better house uh, for this instant because uh, you know, we all know when PVPing, it's hard to basically stay above two health segments. So I'd probably re-roll this into something else, but it's basically the only uh, viable house that I do have. Uh, I could choose to uh, run with this one, which only has swift and deadly. So at least if I'm the one popping off first, then the vicious will come in handy and then once it kicks out and I do no longer get that 10% extra crit damage that's when unforgiving kicks in so it's kind of like a, a give and take relationship with this house but I believe it's my better choice than the other house that I have this one down here is my PvP PvE house that I just recently acquired today with destructive and capable which is I'll be taking uh, capable off of it and probably putting sustained or predatory uh, also, instead of unforgiving, I can choose responsive if I so choose. If I want to keep this one and go do PVE with, then I can easily swap out for this SMG as my secondary to have predatory in my free slot. Same as this vector. And then if I really want more crit chance and want to make this a full-fledged crit chance, crit uh, damage build, then I can also swap in for this Navy MP5, which has fierce in the freeze talent, which is crit hit chance is increased by 5% when using this weapon. But as is, we'll go to my character sheet. 52.5% crit chance, 134% crit damage, 56% headshot damage, 7% stability, then we have the reload speed, all weapon damage bonus is 15, and then if you add that on top of the 12, that's a total of 27 for the SMG bonus damage. And then my health, maximum health pool is 332.9k with a armor mitigation of 31.41. I prefer to be at least above 32% uh, percent armor mitigation. Um, because as you can see I have really low armor values but as I continue to optimize these pieces uh, it'll get better and better and as you'll see it reflect in your toughness if you have better armor rolls uh, on some alpha bridge pieces that you already have but if you want to maximize the damage and still be uh, have survivability then you want to be around 485 to 500 K toughness and you're still gonna be laying down a lot of damage so you can substitute uh, the health on your backpack and knee pads for extra crit damage and then go with the crit chance on the mask and holster if you want to be a little more tanky then you can choose to uh, not have that eight or nine percent crit damage uh, in your knee pads or backpack and opt in for that 16k health but this is your boy relentless thank you so much for tuning in i hope it's been informative and i'm going to send you over to some gameplay we'll see you guys Target acquired. He's down. 